Today we're playing Dave the Diver. And I got this on a Steam sale and immediately when I saw it, I wanted it. And the one thing that I noticed for me was that it reminded me of Dive Talk. I love Dive Talk. I've never gone scuba diving. I've only snorkeled, but they also do cave diving and they have awesome stories, awesome reactions. You know, if you're into like, you know, being educated and just watching cool videos about two cave divers and their experiences, go check them out. I love them so much. They're great characters. I love them. And we're going to be playing a game that involves diving. <laughs> a diver by day and a sushi restaurateur by night. So you know what? Let's get into it. Oh, this is so cute. I love the pixel art. It's beautiful. Just chilling on the beach. Oh, look at those grippers. <laughs> Little feet. God, I wish that were me. Except for the crab, minus that one. Ooh! Little hermit crab. Oh, he's shy. Sorry, buddy. Somebody's calling. Oh. Sushi. Come with me. Let's do it. Oh, he's flying out there. Dave's a diver. Oh, look, it's so cute. Drinking his soda bop. Root beer. I don't know how long the intro was. Maybe we'll watch it again for posterity. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Heck yeah, his name's Cobra. Dang, Cobra. Oh, Dave. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. Oh, he was on his little vacation. So where's the sushi at? He's like, I want some. Haha, <laughs> 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 don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like it. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Which means... This could be an incredible business opportunity! Yeah. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Mm, I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole! <gasps> the prologue. Try moving the arrow with... Wunta! Or with Wisad. There we go. Oh, we're walking around. What? This is us! Okay. Press spacebar to dive. Oh, we gotta hold it down. <gasps> oh, I thought he was gonna get teleported into the ocean. Uh, sushi bar by the blue hole. Oh, I didn't get to read it. It was a jellyfish. We'll pause it later. Nice form. <laughs> All right. How about try stretching out a bit? Yeah, you just let him let him swim around a little bit. Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Very true. Okay, use Wasad to swim to the marker. You can swim faster by pressing shift. L shift. Ooh, we're doing the up down thing. Oh, we are. There's our O2. Okay. Cool. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are nimble as a freshwater snail. No, what? Uh, huh? Now let's practice using the weapon you will need in contingencies. The dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use left click. Huh? I don't want to stab the fishies. Come here! Gah! Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? Harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then... Hmm. 
Hmm, looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with right click and fire with left click. Now, try that yourself. Okay, we're gonna try to catch a fish. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Ooh, whoa, that was cinematic. Okay, let's try that again. Oh shit, we got one. Holy hell. That kind of scared me. Okay, we need to get some more fish. Are these fish even edible? No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay, I don't know how we're aiming this. Ooh, we got another one. <gasps> oh my god, that's so violent. Do we have any of these little dory fish? Are these even edible fish? Ooh! Oh wow, I think you should get back on track in no time. Alright, come back up to the boat. Look at him go! Phew. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. He's hyped. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure. The soft fish meat with the oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Oh my god, I love sushi too! God, I'm getting hungry for sushi after this. Heck! Aha, <laughs> well listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef. Who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. <laughs> it is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one kind of sushi. <laughs> the sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in a blue hole where fish from all over the world can be found. <laughs> Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? <laughs> um, I'm already craving it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Oh, he's so surprised. Look at his face. He's like, what? Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. The secret ingredient. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Um, except... <laughs> So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Oh! <laughs> yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out! The sushi restaurant next to the Blue Hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ha ha ha! Okay, press space at the arrow to go to the sushi bar. Swaddle over there, friend. Sushi? Ooh, nice. I like this place. Hey, Banco, we are all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. He's a cool guy. Oh, oh, he's all dressed up! <laughs> oh, it's all ready? Finished? You? Ah, uh, you were the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Mm. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Oh, he's mad. Look at he's blushing. He's flustered. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bonko. Or is it Boncho? <laughs> so, you like sushi? Hmm. I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm. Just a mediocre. Just as mediocre as expected. Uh, kind of rude, yo. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life it is! <laughs> How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty of Mother Nature could offer! My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone! Oh no, kitty cat! The ecology of the blue hole! The madness! Mother Nature's upset! Dang. 
Ooh. Oh, we're closed, bro. And an earthquake. He spooked. Dude, the speakers are broke, dude. Hmm, the interior is really quite a bit. Dang, we broke it. Look, you can see him talking right there. <laughs> yeah, looks like we have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs for doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm, won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay, okay. Chill. Alright, um, sounds good. Let's do it. It seems Banshu is really passionate about his work. You should too, Dave. Be passionate. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Bon show so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? I know, that's what I was thinking. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients. So, go catch seven fish first. Alright, let's go catch some fishy. So we just need 100. Ooh, we have gold in this universe. Um, and then prepare sushi ingredient. Okay, let's go. Da da dive. Let's try to get a variety, I suppose. Moray eel. Okay, we need to be careful of our oxygen. I mean, we got all day. What kind of fish are edible? Skadoosh. We got one. Ooh, it was a jellyfish. Do you think we should get jellyfish? Is that a doable thing? Nope, uh, that's not a doable thing. That's cool. Yahoo! We passed a jellyfish! Ooh, what's this stuff? Oh. Wood, a piece of lumber, probably debris from a wreck. <gasps> we got some O2s, bro. Remember, it's not gonna be 100% O2, that would be bad. Come on. Can, we, can I not get the shrimpies? No, I guess not. Okay, shrimp? Shrimp is a no go, I suppose. Damn, those little fish are fast. Yo! Ooh, it just bounced right off of him. I want to get this guy. Got him. Oh no, he was a strong one. There's a little mini game. We're gonna try again. Okay. Mini game accepted. Hell yeah, get in here! You gotta slam that space bar. Where are these guys? I want them. Oops, bounced it. I want them. Oh no, it's too close. Okay, let's... We're getting it! Hell yeah. Oops. Oh, the 
power! Okay, we have four fish so far. Let's get some. Can we get these little these little guys? They might be too little. Ooh, what's this? Refining stuff. Bruh, what is this? Soy sauce? Can we get it? I want that. So should we get some dory fish? They're so fast. We're out in the open water. Got him. We just need two more fish. We're running a little low on oxygen. I saw a thing down here. Actually, let's... Treasure. <gasps> what is this? A shock bang stick? A stick type weapon that releases a powerful electric charge. Bro, we're gonna get that. We have weapons. Ooh, is that? I don't think we can aim downward like that. That looks like a sea urchin. No, we can't grab it. I think you might need special tools for that, my guy. We're at 33% oxygen. O2s. Okay, let's go get some, uh, some of this O2 down here. Oh, there's a moray right there. Cool. Can I get that guy? That would be fucking sick, bro. Ooh, we poked him in the head. Oh! We're gonna get away from him. We're just supposed to be getting fish. Oops. We're going down deep, son. Whoa, what are these guys? I want one of these. They are not intimidated by me. He's a tough one. Oh no, did I miss it? Let's try again. Oops. Dang. We're gonna break our shit. Oh, it just bounced off him. I think he's too tough. He's too tough for us. We got too far. Clicking it. Okay, we just need one more fish. Maybe this little angel fish here? Ooh, they're fast. We have the power. Can we go down a little bit? There's lionfish. to escape pod. Escape pod! Heck yeah, we're utilizing all the features. We're depressurizing. <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot if you go too deep. You get the bends, bro. Good. We had a depressurizing tank down below. Don't want to surface too fast. Alright, looks like you caught quite a, you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> my, my. Would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Heck yeah, let's go. We'll contribute some money. <laughs> Yellow back... Sea liar? Is that how you say that? That's the biggest fish we got. Ooh. The weather is sunny. The best depth we got was 41 meters. It was pretty deep, pretty deep. We caught seven. Obtained? Obtained what? Like, keep it? Alright, dive number one. Alright, boys. Ooh, okay, blue tang. That's the dory fish. A yellow back fussy liar. Lagoon triggerfish, triggerfish. I remember that one. And a batfish. Okay. Orbicular. 
Batfish. Co. And we got soy sauce. Okay, let's go to the fish tank. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Boncho Sushi. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Mm. Get ingredients ready before the dinner hour starts. Okay. A sushi bar by the blue hole. Okay. How are the preparations coming along? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's a here's to a great evening. Oh, he's so excited. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You were to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. Oh shit. We didn't sign up for this. What are you talking about? Cobra. He's like, I don't want to touch the fish. I just want to eat it. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer. So pay attention. Oh, oh no, he's scared. Okay, I guess. I mean... How long are you going to stand there talking? Oh. Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. I could use some of that too. Oh, hmm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? Mm. No, only soft drinks, I think. Mm. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Pour Cobra green tea. Okay. Bro. Pour the right amount. Sometimes customers will order drinks. S to pour green tea just the right amount. Okay. It's S. <gasps> Was it a little too much? Oh, okay, it's perfect. <laughs> Customers who drink green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Ooh, they're glowing green. They love it. <laughs> As expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. Mm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? <sighs> Damn ding is all demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Okay, we're practicing on Cobra. He's slamming it. Bro, we got a pro over here. Come over here. I come over to where I am and take this food. Okay. Okay. You can dash when serving food. You shift to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Oh, we're running. Oh, he just needs to up the stamina. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Cooper didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. <gasps> it seems like such a waste to throw it away. Bunch of sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Oh no. What uh? What key is that? Is that Q? Everything looks about ready. Hmm. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Open the sushi bar. Open. We're open. He's nervous. <gasps> we got people. Um, how do I pour? With S. Perfect. Okay, 
they were running. Sorry. Ugh. He runs so slow. better at this. Are we good? Are we good? We're still in the negative, though. Yikes. Phew! We're close for the day. Best. Alright, we made some money. He's new. He's new at this. He's never done this before. Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. I know, you've been swimming around and then running around? What? You we were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. Okay, I guess we'll have to take that as a compliment from Boncho. I suppose coming from you. See, that is a compliment. He a man should not feel gratification for simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Boncho Sushi. He's so excited. Oh, this is a shipment. Oh, bro. They hit some trash out in the wall. <gasps> oh my word. Dude, it was a trap. Oh no. They're being attacked with a Kraken. Bruh, they're gone. That's why the shipment was late! <gasps> Dude, they're gone. Sunday. Are they open on Sundays? Ellie is calling. Who dat? Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. I think so, I don't know. Am I actually here? <laughs> I was expecting a more professional looking guy. Rude. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? I was like, excuse? For you? I don't even know who you are, lady. Mm. Shouldn't you <laughs> Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? <laughs> I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. Are you a marine biologist? Ellie, L fill me in on that. What's your degree? What's your uh, education? I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Very rude. What do I get in return? Excuse? Hmm, I got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A uh, re reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying, you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Red ecological data. New content smartphone. We have a smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Game settings can be accessed from the phone. Okay. Okay, so not only do we have to buy fish for the rest we have to catch fish for the restaurant we gotta find some stuff for this girl excuse we're blasting coming in blasting we're gonna blast you oh Got him. What are these little guys? Are they a type of trigger fish as well? They're fast as fuck, boy.
Trying to be consistent with the fish I'm catching. Oh, hey, there's a treasure right here. Oh, it's a hammer. A sleepy toy hammer, rubber toy hammer. Doesn't do much damage, but it sometimes puts fish to sleep. Okay. Kind of funny. Trying to gauge this harpoon thing. Ugh. A Salima Peggy. Are these edible fish? Like slow mo. Got him. Look at these treasures. What's this one? Okay, we have another one. Oh. You know, we'll have to leave that behind, I suppose. Oh, tab, huh? Can we take this, then? Oh, I guess we can only have one. Okay, so what's our limit? We're at normal depth right now. What are these little guys? dramatic. What is this? Oh, we found some. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're supposed to be looking for things. Oh, here we go. She wanted two of these. And then two red starfish, right? Water scooter, we're scooting. Oh, red starfish. We got one. There's a pot over there. I kind of want that. All right, we've reached the other side of the hole, mayhaps. Ooh, olive oil. Heck yeah. Did we find all the stuff we need? I'm getting boosted. Crazy. 
Can we get some more of these guys? Dang, just missed him. Dang. Okay, let's go back up, I guess. Oh, we ran out. We ran out. What's this for? Don't know what that is. Can we go to the surface now? Uh, yeah, let's return. I don't know. Whatever. The girl's just gonna have to be satisfied with what we got her. Mm hmm. Oh, and we got the wood. Do we have any information on that? No. 30 centimeter blue tang's pretty big. They're pretty big fish. Rainbow Rosse. Salima Porgy and Blue Tang. And we got olive oil. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Mm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Oh, oh yeah. Mm, I did notice the fish in the blue hole have an odd, violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? <gasps> a gun! I have a friend who is knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Oh, Duff? Who dat? Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who is this goofy-looking guy next to you? Are we on, like... Are we on FaceTime or something? How does he see me? Sorry, that wasn't nice thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses, bud. So, what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. He's, like, on his pewter. I've begun a very interesting business. Ha ha ha! And now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Oh, Straw Stella? Excuse me. Hmm. Season 2 of Straw Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Actually, alright. I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, an equipment... Any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. Yeah. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. Yeah. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Yeah. Hmm, so we'll have to get materials from the sea ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master death. <laughs> I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. What the hell? By the way, if you run out of oxygen, boy, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Oh, shit. If we run out of oxygen, dude. Weaponsmith Duff. Okay. Um, so we need to go back in. It's afternoon. Acquire two red starfish. We need to find one more. And we need to find a rope and a scrap iron. Okay. Let's go! Ooh, a white tip reef shark. <gasps> I'm scared. Can't cook any more dishes once the wasabi runs out. Yikes. Okay, we're diving. We're diving. We're diving. Look at this little cute seahorse. There's seahorses here. And the anemones. Oh, hold on. What's that? <gasps> we found a starfish. Right here. Burf, we got that done. Now we just need to find stuff. Did we get enough rest? Okay, normal depth. We need to watch our depth. Oh, we're getting too deep. Do we see anything down here? Oh, hold on. I see something. Ooh, a rope. 
We're still at normal depth. We're doing good. We found some more wood just in case we need that, I guess. I think we're probably good. I mean, do we need more fish? Because I'll get some. Ugh. Come on, get it! Oh! We gotta get it! Wow, those ones are hard. Oh, there's a moray right there. Yep! Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get it. Oops, we're not close enough. Get it! Got it. Boom. Can I get some more fish? Let's go ahead and get another one. Why not? Let's go. Okay, we almost ran out of air. Oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't as easy as last time. I think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expect you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. What the heck? This guy is rude. <laughs> yeah, you mad at that? Like, what are you- what? <laughs> Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. <laughs> okay, whatever, dude. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. Okay. First of all, download Duff's weapon shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. Okay. Let's go get his freaking app, bro. Ooh, cool. Crafties. Okay, you've collected all the materials. Good, let's try and create a new weapon. Bro. He's controlling him! Dude, this is epic. He's using a remote controlled robot with the paws and the power. <gasps> it was epic. <gasps> New weapon. Equip the weapon right away. Yeah, why not? Whatever. Okay. Yeah, with a neat explanation like that, even someone like you could have understood. Okay. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Okay. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Yeah. Oh, but... I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Okay. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, Eternity. What is that? Cool, we got stuff. Dude, look at what kind of gun. Oh my god, what is that? Okay. Ellie is calling. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Hmm, you actually brought them back? I guess I'll expect... I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological... E the sudden ecolog... The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further. So I'll continue to need your assistance. Add my number. Ooh, we got gold. Dude, this gets us out of the red. Olive oil and soy sauce. Dude, we need that stuff. Red ecological dye. Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really have the customers keep coming. Repair Boncho Sushi. Heck yeah. We did it. And we got more fish. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Boncho Sushi. Let's get ready to run around, boys. 
open boncho sushi. Not yet. We gotta do the menu. Ooh, we got new stuff. Ooh, okay, let's add that one because we have like a lot of them. Ooh, we can enhance, excuse? What are we enhancing it with? Green use for enhancement will disappear. Hmm. I don't want to enhance it yet. We'll do the enhance on this one because it's less. We're enhancing it. Dude, we're enhancing it. He's putting on his beats. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Look at those kicks, bro. Ooh. Gonna wasabi. Dang. He's down with the business. <gasps> We've enhanced it. Ooh, hell yeah. More happy. More money. Okay, and then we have the norimaki and the green tea. Let's go! Let's get ready, boys! Open. We're open. We're open. He has the baby stamina. Hello! What do you need, bud? Alright. This one, please! Let's get ready. He's almost ready. Shit, she needs a drink. Okay, we'll serve her. Bad. Oh fuck, we fucked it up, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, we'll get this one. Here we go. Uh-oh. Got to clean up after people. Okay, we're serving. Perfect! This is what I'm talking about. Nice, we made quite a bit of money on that one, eh? Plus well, for the day. Dang, he was chopping it. <gasps> best, best sale so far. Heck yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm looking at these numbers and top sales was a Rasa, Rasa, Rasse, the Rasse. Okay, might have to get this top sales yellow back. Yellow back and the rosé. Okay, so it's that little teal one and then that other one with the yellow stripe. It's good information. Were those the ones that we enhanced? <gasps> it's Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Are you Dave by any chance? Mr. Bacon? Or Dr. Bacon? <gasps> Ooh. Guess what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Bacon. Or Dr. Bacon, sorry. Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization? Mm? That's what I'm saying, the sea people civilization. Haha, <laughs> I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? He's super stoked. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Ooh. <gasps> They're mermaid people. What? The sea people civilization lives in legends. Okay. They worship fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to sea bottom brought out their abrupt downfall. 
That's about all there is to the story. Okay, that's not a lot. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. <laughs> what makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It's dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good while. Uh oh, someone's going to the jail hole. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Dude, that's really far. You can't do that with regular scuba gear. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Yeah, you know your priorities, Dave. You tell him. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Kurobura. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah! yeah. What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. He's like, what? Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. We'll have to, like, fish out the entire blue hole. What are you talking about? Mm. Uh, I suppose you have a point. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'll help. Oh, he's stoked. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't that lucky? Oh, of course I will be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. That's exactly what we need. We need special gear to go that deep. Wow! With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. Yes! These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. Oh my god, we're relying on a freaking phone app. Okay. We are getting the eye diver. Air tank level 2, diving suit level 2. Now then, let me tell you how to use eye diver. Install the app for you to unlock the phone first. Okay. Eye diver. Alright, we're here. Diving suit. Upgrade. Ooh, depth limit is 80 meters. Nice. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use Eye Diver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. <gasps> oh my god. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Bye, guy. Cool. Traces of the sea people. Well, that was fun. We have enhanced gear. We're gonna go look for an artifact. Oh, he's drinking some water? Oh my god, I'm cute! I love their little animations. Okay, well, I think that's all for now. Um, if you like this, watching me play this game, let me know. Leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, let me know what was your favorite part. I think I really enjoy the part where Boncho was doing the food enhancement he was really getting into it it's like in his spirit he's he's in he's into it he's got his tunes he's got his kicks on he's ready to go i really appreciate that and i kind of like how it's kind of vague about you know the whole scuba diving and the depth and like the equipment you need you know you do need better equipment to go deeper safely so i don't know that's kind of cute i kind of like it you know <laughs> anyway thanks for watching see you around